Coach, uh, just got a quick question here. Um, looks like they picked Lonnie Brown, and obviously he's recovered from a very devastating injury that he had last year. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of a two-part question. How do you see his rehab going so far? How are you thinking on the Well, we've been really working with Ronnie and the training staff, and we're, we're very uh, happy with his progress. He's been very committed to doing what the trainers have asked him to do. Uh, Ronnie's a hard worker, and, and uh, you can see in his production before the injury that uh, he was very committed to his craft, and we expect nothing uh, less than that for him for this season. He's in a great system with Coach Soprano. Uh, his, his profile, the type of running back that he is, he really fits our, our system very well, and we're anticipating a great season for him. I and I, I, well, the second part of the question, I apologize, Coach, for sure. um, you, you have Darren McFadden here, who's currently not listed as the starting running back, mm -hmm. um, and, and it appears that there's probably going to be running by committee, so to speak, in Oakland. And as your, your third alternative as a running back, you have D'Angelo Williams, who is also going to be splitting duties with a, a young running back by the name of Jonathan Stewart, a real big back who's expected to get the short yard, the goal line calls there. Uh, which one of these guys are you expecting to really put the numbers up for you for the fantasy league? Well, that's a very good question, Coach. Um, we're really looking at D'Angelo Hall as a, a reserve option. We're, we're not really anticipating him to really take over that, that starting role. And if I, if I remember correctly, we drafted him in the eighth round Really the thought there with D'Angelo was to kind of put him in the running back wide receiver slot. Uh, he'd be a great third down back option coming out of the backfield. So that's really where we're looking for his production. Uh, in reference to McFadden, yes, he's not listed as a start at this at this point, but we feel very confident with him and the progression that he's made that he will be uh, uh, competing very well and uh, give us great numbers in the season.